I think for me, it was like realizing that I was hitting points of burnout every couple of years and that that wasn't normal. Um, and everyone's definition of burnout is different. For me, it was a little bit of like realizing I was jumping careers a lot. And one, I think it's okay to do that and to explore. But when I really dug deep into like, why was I making those changes? There were a number of reasons, um, not to say they're right or wrong, but I think one of them might be like feeling a sense of burnout. In hindsight, had I maybe, I don't know, put in some better uh, wellness practices during some of those periods, would I have stayed? Would I have found happiness there? Potentially. I can never say, right? But I think it was this realization um, each time that I like hit a point of burnout where I'm like, okay, something needs to change. And uh, I always found that it was kind of like my mom's voice in the back of my head, <laughs> always saying, are you sleeping enough? Are you exercising? And um, finally learning that when I did put those very basic things into place, like it's like really, it goes down to the, the primary, primary basics of just living as a human being. It's what you eat, how you sleep, how your digestion system is working. Um, if those things are solid, it's like you are so much better equipped to be able to do anything else. And so it was a little bit of just like trial and error on my own life circumstances of, of hitting burnout and being able to feel like each time I got a little bit better because I focused on my exercise, because I focused on my sleep. And I'm not the best sleeper. And I also was not always the most like physically active person. So it took a lot of trying different things and, you know, cer learning certain things that don't work for you and then trying other things that really helped me develop this interest in, um, in food and exercise. And then that helped that like folded into another layer when I started getting into yoga and meditation. And for me in the last couple of years, after, after feeling like I had started developing a pretty good um, practice with like exercise and with food. And I've also gone through, you know, a journey of like trying vegetarian diets and trying like, um, uh, like raw, unintentionally raw diet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then, you know, hearing from my mom, who's, you know, in Chinese culture, you shouldn't, it's always about eating cooked foods. So raw is, you know, like supposed to be like really bad for you. And then going back and trying that incorporating fish. And I always say everybody is different. Um, but I think, I think it was probably a lot of the, the Chinese mom influence of using those tools, using the wellness tools to solve the problems that I was facing in my life, like turning to those as the things that I should fix versus trying to get that better job or trying to move to the other city. And uh, yeah, and then once I got, I feel like my food and my exercise down, I think meditation was kind of the next thing that I had on my to-do list for like many years. And I knew that it was good and, you know, had heard all about the benefits, but I always found it kind of a hard thing to get into. And then um, as, I, as I got into it, it just became something that I found was like an extra level of feeling well. Um, and so that's been kind of the most recent evolution of my, of my journey. 